Hey man, look, I got this hat today. Pretty cool, I was in Shoreditch. And I got it because on the back it's, it's a Stanley Kubrick production. On the back it says, stay creative. Which of course, I'm a big advocate for. Reminder for me to stay creative. And also it matches my little Carl Buxton sweatshirt in the back. I wanted to talk to you guys about habit stacking. Now I mentioned it in my previous video where I was talking about going through a quarter life crisis. I did mention that there are two different types of habit stacking. Now, if you do consume quite a lot of self-improvement content, then you may have come across this idea before, mainly in a positive light. So the whole notion is that if you have a good habit Consequently, other habits will form that stack on top of these. So let's say you go to bed early. Chances are you end up waking up early, which means that you have more time to focus on yourself in the morning, go to the gym maybe, do a little bit of productive work in the morning before you start your day job and so on and so on. And because you've worked out, you have no energy <laughs> left for the day. So you go to bed early again and it's a nice cycle of good stuff. Ergo, you're stacking good habits. Now, in my last video, I spoke about how this can actually happen in the reverse as well. You can have habits stack negatively. So for example, if you are consuming alcohol, you might be susceptible to start smoking cigarettes or having a bad night's sleep, waking up late, not doing what you were supposed to do on the weekend, not having a productive weekend, you've wasted your weekend, you feel bad, negative habits, bad cycle, you're eating. <laughs> you get the point. So that's fair enough to say we know that we should be doing more of the good things and less of the bad things and hopefully when we do more good things, other good things will follow from that. But what I wanted to speak to you about is actually having a foundation to build these good habits on top of, right? Like I said, in our previous example, going to sleep early would have been a good foundation for the positive habits to form on top of that, i.e. be stacked on top of that. And you might be thinking, okay, Josiah, so what does that mean in the reverse? Like, what is the foundation? And I think what the foundation comes down to is a value. And I think we should all be aware of our values that we want to take forward in our life on a day-to-day -day basis and make sure that the actions and things that we do throughout our day don't conflict with our values that we have at heart. I think remembering your values is really important to help you stick with the good habits that you have. And I think that it can also help prevent you from doing things that you wouldn't want to do. What I would advise is you write down what your value is, something that you want to align with. And it serves as a goal slash a reminder as to why you are trying to pursue these things and avoid certain other things. Now, let's say for example, you're a married man, right? You want to make sure that you're always there for your wife and that your kids grow up in a good home environment, etc. If you go about your day and scenarios present themselves that could impact your value, then hopefully you have at the forefront of your mind, listen, I don't wanna do X, Y, or Z. Let's fill them in with drinking, drugs, and cheating because I want to make sure that I have a solid foundation with my family. There are more important things at stake here. And I think that's what it comes down to. It's like, is this temporary pleasure or whatever situation that you're in worth me risking a setback towards my goals? I wanna be here. If I do this, I'm gonna be pushed all the way back down here. Or I could avoid the situation entirely and be on track to achieving this goal right here. <laughs> that goal right there, bro. So there you have it, bro. Just do more of the good stuff. Remember what your values are at the end of the day. And then, not to say it's easy from there on out, but it will be a lot less complicated. You won't be putting yourself in situations that challenge you too much in a negative way. And you'll start to see that stuff ends up working out positively in your favor. If you're taking the effort to take the right steps, other positive things will follow. If that ain't true, come back and tell me just how you don't know what you're talking about. But hey, bro, as your friend, I've got you. If you enjoyed this video, then like, comment, subscribe, um, algorithm stuff in it. Take care. <laughs>